Scotty folks, we're on our way to Kashua, Kashua City to have our vegetables checked out. This gives you a little look of what the Japan looks like on the roads. That's Broom. Hi, Bob. I'm Ma. We're here checking out the radiation levels here in Kashiwa. This is all due to the Fukushima disaster. Well, we'll see you. I'm Mop. And this is Broom. Hey, Mop. I found a hot spot that needs mopping. We're in Kashiwa. It's clean. And we're detecting radiation from the uh, Fuki Fukushima disaster. This is Japan. And there's our meter. It's on the lowest setting, which is 0.1 of our wrenching. But uh, this needle barely even raises in normal conditions. And as you can see, it's pretty high up there right now. It usually, it's usually right down here at the bottom and it barely gets before the very first mark, which is about, you know, a twentieth of uh, a wrench. Right now we're on the tenth scales. And you can probably hear it clicking. So, in my opinion, anything over normal is no good. No matter what anybody says, how much is safe to be around or consume. I think anything over normal is not going to be safe. So there you have it. This is just in the parking lot when we got here at Kashiwa. And uh, just kind of a no special place, just the edge of the, edge of the parking lot and the dirt. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go check out our the food we've been eating next because we found out that this is some broccoli. Uh, so we're clear. Okay, folks. Here's a little information on uh, Bekumiru. That's the company that uh, checks for uh, contaminated food, contaminated with the radiation left over from Fukushima's nuclear, uh, nuclear disaster, nuclear power plant. And here's the first pamphlet right here. This is a place uh, in Kashiwa. And uh, let's see if I can zoom in on the phone number there for you and address. There you go, right there. You guys pick that up. And then the woman gave me another uh, example, pamphlet rather, and uh, this pamphlet is a place in Wayno. There it is, there's the information if you want to go check it out. Then they also had this little handy map that was in there, and she says that the helicopter flew over on uh, the 1111 the date 1111, 11th month 2011, and mapped out where all the uh, cesium 134 and 137 was had fallen out. And if you look at the map, the red zone up here is uh, the Fukushima area. Now, red is the most densest uh, level. Yellow is a little lighter, and then consecutively goes down in color. And uh, see, Tokyo, Yokohama's right on their side of this bay to the left there. This is the Chiba area here. And there's the Kashiwa area that we're in that has a uh, fallout. And down here, this is the Izu Peninsula. And let's see. And Nagoya's further down here. Um, Izu Peninsula, Mount Fuji right there. Seems to be kind of clear all in this area. 
but uh, there's the uh, Chiba and Sayatama area over there and as you can see it all drifted you know inland all the way over through these prefixtures can I go a little closer maybe you can for those of you that can read kanji and I can't read kanji so I'd have to look on a Romaji map anyway there you go and they gave me another piece of paper that had uh, some information that I can't read.